Hello amigos, welcome to a brand new beta and preview for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is the version 1.20.40.23. This week, it's all about bug fixes. However, we did get one shaders change. Getting into this week's features and bug fixes. Once again, audio changes. The updated splash sounds now play on Android as well. We have a bug report. Water splash sounds no longer plays after the addition of entering slash exiting water sounds. So this has been a hot topic for the past week or two, where apparently they were meant to make sounds the exact same as Minecraft Java Edition. Now you guys informed me in the comments section, the audio changes that they did are still wrong. Now, like it says, it's not a fix. It's just available on Android. But basically, whenever you throw blocks in the water, apparently it's meant to sound the same as Java. But it just doesn't. This also counts for players being submerged from heights into water. Now, if you do go up and just keep, like, treading water like this... Apparently the sounds are meant to be different and going underwater being submerged very slowly. You'll see there's a slight lag here. Some people said that, yeah, this is normal. No, it's not normal. I play a lot of Minecraft Java and I don't have this problem. You're usually a lot slower when you're submerged. Anyway, with the audio changes, expect this to be updated once again. Changes with blocks. Third person camera no longer faces through the lower part of cauldrons. We have a bug report. Projectiles sometimes goes through the outside of the cauldron and the composter. There was a few issues a couple of weeks ago with the composter, but you can see that the trident goes all the way through. This was basically an issue with the cauldron as well. Now they have fixed this because I did a little bit of testing. So basically the lower third of a cauldron and the composter have been broken for quite some time. But I can confirm today, come on, come on throw it, they, they have been fixed. It says, falling in powdered snow no longer causes any damage, no matter the height fallen from. We have a bug report. Hasn't been an issue for very long, but basically you took damage when falling in the snow. We have the powdered snow, just gonna go all the way up here. Just gonna change my game mode to forward slash game mode S. I'm gonna break this and you'll notice that I don't take any damage. Also, lightweight mobs and entities wearing leather boots once again sink into the top layer of powdered snow when falling from a height of more than two and a half blocks. So I decided to put a zombie all the way up here. I don't know what entails a lightweight mob. I just went for something that could actually wear boots. So we're using a zombie here. So if we just break this falls down onto the powdered snow. They didn't take any damage there. Also, I want my diamond helmet back. Thank you. Gameplay changes. Goat horn sound is now considered a jukebox slash note sound again. So if we just play this, we go into our settings. We go down to the audio settings and we change this to like 18, for example. We do it again. It's a lot lower. Also, they fixed an issue where the game would lock up if a mob would move on a block with zero friction. And I'm guessing that means things like ice. Basically, if a mob was on this and it was moving, um, it could basically freeze your game. Changes with graphical. Random lights no longer appear in the world without a source. We have a bug report. So I've had this happen to me as well. It's been a problem in all of these versions and was reported earlier on this year. Basically, whenever you were in a world, you would just have random light sources like this one. Like someone placed a light block. This was noticed in a cherry. This next one was noticed in a jungle. This next one noticed quite frequently inside of a frozen biome. And I had this one happen in this biome quite a lot. But yeah, if you had this issue, go and check if it's been fixed in your world. Graphics changes. Splash particles are now emitted at the actor's waist instead of above their head. I've always wondered this. So whenever you throw this and we just like activate this, you'll see the particles now appear from the lower rather than straight from the player's head. Changes with items. Warped fungus on a stick is no longer held backwards in first person view. We have a bug report. So apparently on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, the warped fungus looked like this. And it was back to front compared to the fishing rod. Anyway, that was fixed today. 
and I tested it for myself and you can see it's no longer backwards. Changes with mobs. They fixed a bug where the sniffer ended digging as soon as item was created, not at the end of the specific digging duration. Stability and performance fixed a crash related to tessellation of water blocks. User interface. Placing invalid items into offhand slots will no longer cause them to drop. Shaders changes. High emissive values greater than 0.25 no longer obscure surface details in the deferred technical preview. Okay, so we just activate this. Can actually show you the problems here. You'll notice that everything is super, super bright. Not everything has to be this bright in Minecraft. Let me show you a picture from Poggy. So he shared this with me. The left one is broken. Like I showed you, the right one has actually been fixed. Hopefully they get more values for specific light blocks. Because not everything has to be super bright. I forgot to mention the technical updates, but we do have changes to the education features, editor, entity components, and experimental technical features, which was the API. The link is down below. Pretty sure I'm going to get players asking me about Mali GPU or Adreno GPUs. Guys, I'll leave a link down below to this shaders texture pack. Go and try it in the latest version and see if it's working for you. However, this week, they were mainly focusing on bug fixes. Have a wonderful day. Hey, you can now book me on Cameo. Link is down below.